out of San Antonio, Texas. Prophet is Sherry Bishop. How is everyone out there this rainy morning? I hope everyone is doing great. It is time for a time of refreshing with Prophet and Sherry Bishop. How is everybody doing out there? For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we all shall rejoice and be glad in it. I tell you, I'm just so thankful and so grateful to God for allowing me to be here on air another morning. And I'm, I'm not going to be before you long because I am so excited. Uh, when I started a couple of months ago, thank God it's been almost two months since I've been on the air. When I first started my very first session, my bestie was here with me, and she's back from Africa. Say hello, prophetess. Hello, everybody. How are you doing this morning? I'm blessed. I'm blessed this morning. Good to be here in the studio with prophetess Sherry Bishop, my friend. And um, glad to be back in America. Yes, a pro a po Apostle Colleen Daly has been in Africa and we talked about your trip to Africa when you left over a month ago and I just want you to tell, before we get started, I want you to tell me a little bit about what happened and what you did over there. First, um, I did, I launched a church, Elohim Restoration International Ministry. I did ordination as well and um, did foundational teaching, foundation of faith, um, strategic, spiritual warfare teaching as well. Didn't get into all the teaching I wanted, but uh -huh. just a month was just the start of something greater that is coming. Amen, amen. amen. So how was the people, and did they receive you well? Oh, definitely. Elohim Restoration International Ministry, the, the people of God, it's like I was born in Kenya. <laughs> I felt like a Kenyan, I believe I'm a Kenyan, even though they think I'm from an Indian tribe. <laughs> but I, they're welcoming. The didn't matter if they were young or old. There are people who that are older than me, and they call me mother. And uh -huh. so they're respectable. I felt at home. I didn't feel like like a stranger or right. a foreigner. Right. I know. Uh, I was keeping up with your journey, and I was looking at all the posts and all the pictures, and it's just like you just fit right in you know and you it just like you was just so comfortable and i even got a chance to see you minister because they had it you know um on facebook and i got a chance to see and i want to know one thing how in the world can you manage to, to minister like that with an interpreter that seems like it's so hard i believe it's easier if you're a teacher like I'm a teacher uh -huh. so it's easier to <laughs> interpret when I'm teaching because uh -huh. you're at a slower pace uh -huh. but if you're a traditional preacher who go real fast that right. would be difficult to interpret mm -hmm. because I was noticing how you were just so mellow at it and he was just you know <laughs> interpret I'm like wow that, yeah. that gotta be hard no, because there are times that I caught myself, you know, uh -huh. like, oh, you're going too fast for them. <laughs> and so I have to be in that slow mode, but it was good because mm. teaching, you're, you're much slower mm. in teaching than preaching like some big time preacher like right. Noah Jones would have been probably difficult to interpret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing you with the children, you know, you know, hugging Blessing, and blessings. But the kids, they looked like they the children. Uh -huh. They looked like they were so, you know, happy and just so yes. eager to see you. Yes. You know, and it also let me know that they remember you. Oh, yes. Because yes. they were excited. And I, I, I was just thanking God for you. And then uh, Bridgetta came over and met you over there. Yes. One thing I was very excited about, I was very excited about the women's conference. Yes. The women came out. Yes, they did. They're very receptive. Um, it was great. Yes. It was it was it was women everywhere. So when when you left, you had about seventy in your church. Has it grown since you left and came back? Um, on and off, yes, because there are a lot of people who travel from different villages. You know, leave mm -hmm. past other churches just to be there. Mm -hmm. So transportation sometimes can be an issue. Mm -hmm. You know, financially speaking, but mm -hmm. um, eventually we'll get there. Mm -hmm. I believe God's gonna do the increase. 
Um, I fed. I was fed very well by my spiritual daughter Eunice. I Every did. three three di meals a day, <laughs> 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 and it was good. You know, it's um, cuckoo. I call it chicken. <laughs> a lot of chicken and rice and veggie. <laughs> 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 so it fed you well. Yes. That's a wonderful thing. I'm just so happy that your trip was a total success. Yes, it was. And I saw, I saw God moving, and I just thank God for that. I thank God that He brought you back home with thank no you. problems with thank you. that that stuff, border stuff, and all that smooth sailing all the way back in to you know San Antonio. Amen. So are you when are you going again? It's debatable. <laughs> I want to make it twice a year, but. I'm working, you know, work as a nurse, so when I quit working, the more trips to to Kenya, mm -hmm. yeah, and hopefully other countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to Jamaica. Oh, yes, definitely <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's where we're going. <laughs> hey, man, I am so, I'm grateful. I'm so thankful Thank that you're you. back. I missed you while you was gone. Thank you. We Thank talked, you. sometimes we talked, I know sometimes I probably, it was like, what, one and two o'clock in the morning, my time. Yes. And the reception was good, but sometimes I could hear you, and sometimes I might have been a little asleep, but I knew you was having a good time over there. It was there. blessing, blessing. I knew you was having a good time, and I thank God for Eunice, because she took care of my she, friend over yeah, there. she did. I gained 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chance to see a picture of her uh, yeah. the other day. She was in the car with Bajetta when oh, y'all yes, went to the airport. That's, yes. And that's how I got a chance to see oh, Eunice. Yes, that's, so, that's Eunice. I thank God for Eunice. But I want to get into the topic today. Um, this is really not my season. You know, um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, I have to bring myself back up to that place in Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, normally during Thanksgiving time, I, I leave San Antonio and I go home to my mom's. But... For the last couple of years, I, my, you know, my mother passed away, so I just have to, I'm trying my best to get myself into the season, you know, the, you know, the, the, spirit, the, of the Thanksgiving. spirit of Thanksgiving, or, you know, right. how we go out and we buy food and get ready to cook and see where we're going and all this. And me, I don't want to do anything. I just want to just, I'm ready for it to be over and have mm -hmm. it even started. Mm -hmm. But I just been praying, you know, because this, this time of year, and I'm, I'm putting this out there for the saints to pray because this is when suicidal rates are the highest right, during right. the holidays because it's so much depression, right. people losing loved ones, and I don't know why companies do it, but they lay off during this time. And what's supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year sometimes yeah. be the worst time mm -hmm. for people because they lay off, and then you have people that can't afford to do things that they see other people doing yeah. and they, they 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 just kill themselves or cause harm to others and it's just so much chaos that goes on around the holidays so I've been really praying against the spirit of suicide in this hour because you know it's so many depressed people out there right, missing right. their loved ones so I just challenge everybody to, to pray yes. pray for those that have pray lost them. loved ones and and, and you know, I always say this, I was, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know where I'm gonna go. My mom is gone because that was my go-to. You know, she right, was my go-to. Right. Everybody end up at home, you know, during the holidays. So now everybody is separated, you know. Yes. So if I feel like this, but I know I can make it, and I know I'm gonna make it through this, but some people can't make it through this. But I do also feel like it's important, you know, that we not look at this as just this, Thanksgiving as a season. Thanksgiving should be every day. We should be thankful every day. We should have a put the we should put gratitude at the forefront of our daily lives every day. You know, a lot of people say during the holidays, but all year round we should be thankful. We should be thankful to God that we even woke up in the morning. So that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about being thankful. Life is not always going to be perfect for us. But we still have to do what? We still have to be thankful. Talk to us about the scripture, being thankful. Being thankful. The word of God in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 said, Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. continue to make your specific requests known to God. 
glory to God so it's saying to not to be anxious in every situation give thanks uh, even in the season and time where we say this is the month of Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and we say every day should be a day of thanksgiving just like the scriptures say pray without season right that means you're always going to pray there's not one time in this life christian walk that you're not going to pray the word of god said pray without season even when it seems like the answer is not there you continue to pray the same way mm -hmm. be anxious that means be not anxious your trust is in god yes and so because your trust is in god you don't have to worry you don't have to be anxious especially if you walk in the spirit Yes. Because if you're in the flesh, flesh will tell you the circumstances don't look good. I, I don't think I can't make it. You know, especially the season. For those who are worried about um, not making it, that, that are going through su suicidal ideation, thinking about coming to suicide because they're depressed, because it seemed like a spirit takeover this time of the year of yes. lo loneliness. <clears throat> but with the fight of be, don't worry. Put your trust in God. Put yes. your concern to Him. Mm -hmm. Give it to Him. Glory mm -hmm. to God. So that's where the scripture meant to me is that in everything you have to be thankful. You have to. You have to. You have to show gratitude, gratitude. and be thankful to God. Yes. Yes. You know, I thought about how uh, I was at the store the other day, and um, I had Jasmine had taken me out in the wheelchair, and I because I, my my foot my leg was hurting, and I said. You know, I, I can't do this. You have to take right. me out of the wheelchair. And she took me out in the wheelchair. And me, I don't like being out like that, right. you know. Right. But I was grateful because I was breathing. Right. I was Thank alive. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was dressed nice. But I was just sitting. I was, she was pushing me around. And so when I got to the end of the corner, there was another lady around about the same age as me. But she didn't have no legs. And before I knew it, My Lord. I said, Lord, I thank you. Sure before here. I even knew it, yes, yes. I offered up Thanksgiving because that could have been me. I'm complaining about the little ailment I have and not wanting to be seen. But she was she was just as happy as she could be. Mm -hmm. So I went into a spirit of Thanksgiving, Lord. I th it was just so immediate. It was like, oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, so ever, whenever, wherever we are, wherever we go, when we step, when we step out of that bed in the morning, we Thank should be you. thankful. It said, "Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart." First of all, if Christ is ruling in our hearts, we can't help but be thankful. Right, We're right. thanking Him for what? Everything for His saving, His amazing grace. You know, some people are selfish; they won't even thank each other for the things they've done for them. Right, right. But God said for us to do what? Give thanks. Yes, in every situation, the word of God say, "Give thanks." Mm -hmm. So, even with the, the second verse, we said, "And the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, is yours." Yes. Is this said that you once you trust the Lord, you be at peace? It's like you may have a lot of situation going in your life. But you go to sleep, you at rest, at peace. At God peace. is gonna work that and situation he's gonna work it out. out. He's gonna take care, he's of, gonna it take care of it. Right. Even when you seem like, oh my, that circumstance doesn't look like it. But you trust, just like Abram. Abram trusted the Lord when he said, step out on faith. He trusted mm -hmm. him. Trust him. And the Lord, even though the promise took long, mm -hmm. but it still was fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. It's when, when we truly understand a tremendous gift. That God has given us through His grace, His kindness, and love. How can we not approach Him with thanksgiving? Thank the Lord. How can we not approach Him with gratitude and praise? Praise, Amen. Glory to God. Because we remember, I remember how I used to be. If I could just dwell on how I used to be and how I am now, yes, I'm grateful. Hallelujah. When I go back and I think about the things that He brought me out of. I should have been gone right now. I should have been dead right now. But God. But God yes. So that's enough right there for me to be thankful. And if I'm, I'm in my word and I'm abiding and I'm reading yes. in my word, yes. there's scripture in there when I, when, when the heat for this that's on me, it says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. Lord, I thank you for your word because your word is going to do what? Your word is going to restore me. Glory to it's going to bring me back to that place. 
to where I need to be in you. Yes, Lord. So I should enter into his courts every day Thanksgiving. with thanksgiving. Amen. I should thank him for all. We should thank him for everything forever. I thank Glory God for God. the air I breathe. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. I thank him for everything, everything that I go through. I just, I, I thank him for my children. You know, we got a lot to thank God for. Not just for Thanksgiving Day, for what the, the pilgrims and the, the, the feast. We should, and uh, being thankful, we should have a feast every all the time. All the time. Yes. Not just once a year. We should be thankful every day. Amen. And that's all God wants us to do. Amen. He just wants us to show him a little bit of gratitude. Amen. For the things he have done for us. Not just one day, but every day. Every day. Every day. Glory to God. We just we just gracious, like you've mentioned before, that in this life, there's no way you can have a relationship with God without being thankful. Yes, yes. Being thankful. You said enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts of praise. You thanksgiving is the is the, the first step to into lead you into worship. Yes. And <laughs> and so so how can you not be gratitude not just to the Lord but also to the people of God, the people who he put in your life, the people who have helped you. Glory to God, because you're in this life, you're not by yourself, you're not your own. Yes. Glory to God. You were bought with a price. Mm -hmm. And so the Bible tells us to to um think about others before we even think about ourselves. So That's even right. in this season, we gotta think about somebody else yes. other yes. than ourselves. That's it, yes. Yeah. Yes. And see where the joy come in at. Yes. yes. And see where your joy come in at. Right. right. That was the first thing I told I called Bujetta. And I said, because you know she has the homes for the homeless. Yes, yes. For the uh the elderly. And I said, okay, how many women do you have? How many men do you have? Because I need to get their stuff ready. You know, just because I feel the way I feel don't mean nothing. Right, right. It's not what I go through. It's how I go through it. You know, I might be going through my little spell, but we still have to do the work of ministry. Right, right. We still have to show the gratitude right, to the Lord right. because that's what he put us here on this earth Thank for. Lord. One scripture says in Psalms 92, 1 and 2, it says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing his praises, to sing praises to your name, O mm -hmm. Most High. To declare your loving kindness in the morning yes. and your faithfulness every night. Amen. It is good. Hallelujah. It is if you can just get that in your head to give thanks when you wake up in the morning. If nothing else, just Lord, I thank you for waking me up. Amen. Cause you know what? Somebody didn't wake up this morning. That's true. I have I have never seen so much chaos and so many deaths going on. I mean, just within the last three or four days, mm -hmm. people that I know from back home, just young young as well as older, that just passed on, you're like, what? Oh my goodness. But then it, 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 it you, you you feel sorry for them and you hate us them, but you thank the Lord that right. he's allowed you another chance. So because I thank him and I thank him for allowing me another chance, I got to do what? I got to show my gratitude to him. That's right. I got to show him how much I'm how grateful and how thankful I am. Not just with my word lip service, but with service and with doing things. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to do. Right, right. To show him how much I love him. To show him how much I thank him. I got to do it with what? Service. service. Glory to God. Um, it's, it's just like, I think I mentioned this before. I don't like to love um, wash dishes. Mm -hmm. And so instead of complaining, I sing songs to the Lord. Sing praises to the Lord. <laughs> you know, and just be excited and giving thanks. And before you know it, those dishes are washed. But if I sit there and complain, mm -hmm. I'm going to be frustrated. I'm going to be miserable. Never get the job done. So, in every parts of our life, even if it's washing dishes, yes. whatever we do, we give glory to God. We give thanks to the Lord yes. for He is good. Glory <laughs> to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Scripture says, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Yes. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. That's First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. Yeah. We can't get around thanks. Right, right. But if you notice it said rejoice always. So we can't get around praise. Right, right. So thanksgiving and praise, it comes together. together yes. Because if you become thankful, you're going to say, Lord, Hallelujah. I thank you. Yes, yes. Lord, I praise you. Yes, See, yes. I'm so excited. Glory, glory. I get so excited because yes. the two come hand in hand. Yes. So no, but whatever you're feeling, 
And however you're feeling in this season, yes, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Glory to and God. And thank God for what he has you at right now. Glory thank God, God it's you right. that you hear. Glory to God. And, and begin to share. Glory to begin God. Begin to sing praises and rejoice unto the Lord. Amen. I, I'm, I'm so grateful because, you know, when we get up in the morning and, 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 and we give God the first fruit of our day, and we begin to thank him, you know, at the first of the day when we get up. It, it really does something for our whole day. Right, right. When we get up and sing praises, then we're only doing what the scripture tells us to do. Right. And I, I thank God for how he's allowed the Bible to come in for every situation yes, yes. that we're in or ever we're going to go through. You, we have the scriptures. Yes. Yes. And it's guiding us and it's leading us on what to do. Amen. Glory to God. And you said, you know the scripture that said, do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Mm -hmm. And... It's the same thing. You have to be thankful in every situation that, I mean, you can't have a, a spiritual walk without thanking God. Yes. You, there's no way you can't say, I'm a saved, sanctified person mm -hmm. and don't thank God. And it's also in the walk that we can't, you know, because people are watching us. Oh, we mm -hmm. handle situation. Mm -hmm. How, when we go through a test or a trial, they're watching to see, do, are you having a spirit of gratitude and thankfulness and it, it, instead of complaining? And so that's how we will win others to Christ. Even in this season, if folks are going through stuff, just realize that God, God is a God of um, a second chance for those who are out there that God hear the cry. But when you start thanking God, thanking God for all that yes. you go through, thanking Him. It, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say it has to be a push. Yes. Even when you don't want to do it, push. push. And when you push and pray, you yes. get that release, you get that relief. Glory yes. to God. There are times when I have yes. to push. And no matter what it takes, I'm going to push. I'm going to pray. Push. I'm going to praise God. Yes. I'm going to thank God. Yes. Glory to God. Because if you sit there you won't do anything, mm -hmm. and then the enemy comes and feeds your That's mind right. and says, poor old me, and, and instead of giving thanks, I'm in a pity party. And so how do we know that? Because we've been there before as well. <laughs> Glory yes. to God. <laughs> so we say giving thanks is a release. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you know what? We were saying about the pity party and the, and the enemy. He keeps feeding our mind, and it takes us lower and lower. Yes, yes. And that's when depression set in. Yes, yes. That's when the depression set in. And then that, that's what really happens to people, how they end up hurting themselves. Right, right, right. You know, or, 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 or other things happening within them. But you know what? We ain't the only ones that give thanks. All the angels standing around the throne. Hallelujah. And around the Glory elders and the four yes. living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne Hallelujah. and worshiped God saying, Amen. Amen. Blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving yes. and honor and power and might Hallelujah. be to our God forever Amen. and ever. Amen. That's Revelation. Oh God, I feel your pain. Hey, oh Jesus. That's Revelation 7, 9 through 12. Yes. So even the, the angels in heaven rejoicing. rejoicing and giving him thanks. Hallelujah. Glory to if God. we could just just give Hallelujah. him thanks this morning, yes, yes. it'll make our day so much better. Hallelujah. No, we may not can't get everything that we want. We may not can't have everything right at our beck and call. But I know what we can do. We can thank God for what Hallelujah. we got. Yes, we can yes. thank God for what we're going. We can thank God for what he's about to do in our lives. Yes. And we can worship and we can praise. I guarantee you we'll feel a whole lot better. Final thoughts. Glory to God. You just mentioned that even the angels rejoices. <laughs> yes. So we said down here is a rehearsal. If they're doing it then, then we got to rehearse it now. We got to live it now. Yes. Glory to God. That's the, my final thought, thought of that. <laughs> Glory to God. My final thought is our lives are transformed when we allow heavenly gratitude to fill our hearts. Yes. And to spill over into our daily lives. You hear what I said? To spill over into our daily life. By fixing our eyes on Jesus and being thankful to him. Hallelujah. Glory By to fixing God. our eyes on Jesus and all he has done for us, we can be more than conquerors in whatever situation that we're facing. Romans 8 and 37. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise I the just Lord. like to say that I wish everyone, I'm, I'm praying and wishing everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Amen. Lord, week, in, week uh, holiday week, and that the Lord truly bless families. Amen. And I Amen. want to send a shout out to 
uh, my friend Sheila Spiller. I love you, and I'm looking so forward to seeing you this weekend. I want to send out a shout to Tony Simon, to my sponsor, and also to another one of my sponsors, Bishop Audrey Brooks. Right and I also now. want to send out to another one of my sponsors. Uh, I think she's out of town right now, but I hope she's listening. Uh, Elder Joyce Cadence. I just thank God for you coming, and I thank God for you all being my Praise sponsors. God. I thank God for Elder James Lockhart for allowing us this space mm-hmm. and this opportunity here at KROV. And I just want y'all to know we love you. If you have a topic or you would like to be my co-host, just drop me an inbox at on Facebook. It's Prophet Sherry Bishop, and I'll be glad to talk to you. God bless you, and y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. This is your boy Legacy City, and you are listening to the Rima Gospel Express. All the boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your boy.